Hello ladies and welcome back to a new video. My name is Urania and I'm a certified life coach for women. In today's video, we are talking about survival mode and why it's not good for you to be in survival mode for too long. After that, I'm going to give you some tips that can help you to go from survival mode to thriving mode. Ladies, I would say let's get straight into today's video. It is good to understand that inherently survival mode is not bad. It's because of survival mode that we were able to survive as humans for all these years. Just think about our ancestors that needed to protect themselves in the wilderness from predator animals. Living in survival mode was very beneficial for them. But if you fast forward to now, present day, there is no animal that we need to protect ourselves from. There is no constant threat that we need to protect ourselves from. That's why living in constant survival mode in the present moment is not beneficial for us anymore. Let's look at a couple of things that can happen if a woman is in constant survival mode. Fear and stress is often the first thing we think about when we are talking about survival mode. It's that feeling of being anxious and constantly feeling on edge and that constant feeling of urgency. Another characteristic of a woman that is in constant survival mode is that she is not able to rest in her feminine because being in constant survival mode means being constantly in your head, constantly trying to survive and thrive. There is no room for you to relax and feel safe, feel protected. And because of that, it's difficult to connect to your feminine side because our feminine side is the being energy. It's us connecting to our body, dropping into our body and feeling safe. You're not able to do that and to feel that safety if you are in constant state of survival. Another one is scarcity mindset. Women that are in constant survival mode think that there is a limited amount of resources, a limited amount of money, love or happiness. And because of that, they are in a constant struggle to secure these resources. Another one is being reactive. Being reactive when it comes to decision making. They make decisions based on immediate circumstances or their survival instinct. There is no space for them to feel safe so that they can connect to their intuition and listen to their intuition. Limited growth is another one. There is a little room for personal growth, for creativity and to focus on their long-term goals. And the last one is tunnel vision. Because these women are focused on immediate survival, their vision is narrow and they can only see what's happening straight in front of them. You even want to think about those horse blinders. The horses are only able to see what's in front of them. What's happening over here or happening over there is not visible. And that can actually lead to missed opportunities. And ladies, I have an online course where I teach you how to connect more to your feminine side. And I give you easy and practical things that you can implement to start connecting more to the side of yourself. If you want to know more about it, I have the link to my online course in the description box below. Now that we looked at the side effect of being in constant survival mode, I would like to give you some tips that can help you to shift from survival mode to thriving mode. Let's start with the very first tip. Number one, assess your current situation. In order for you to understand why you feel the need to be in constant survival mode, you first need to understand the area of your life that makes you feel the need to be in constant survival mode. What is going on? So what is the area that puts you in this constant state of survival? Is it your relationship? Is it your job? Is it your finances? Is it your health? What is the area in your life that puts you in this state? Identify the area in your life that is putting you in this state. I just named a couple of examples, but it could also be that there are several areas in your life that are really pushing you in a state of survival. This is actually something that I also do with my life coaching clients. So in one of our first sessions, I take the moment and we go over their entire life. We go over 12 different sections of their life and I make them give that certain area of their life a number. What is the number that you are giving your life right now? This helps my client and me to understand what they need to focus on in their lives. And that's why number one is to create awareness. We cannot change something if we don't know where it's coming from, if we are not aware of what's happening. Number two, create thriving goals. So in order for you to get out of survival mode, you want to create goals for yourself that are more thriving and that feel good. Now I'm going to share with you some characteristics of thriving goals. 
Thriving mode is all about expansion. It's about well-being and confidence. It's also about having an abundance mindset, being proactive, and focusing on personal development and growing and bettering yourself. And when you are in a thriving mode, you are also more open-minded. So with these points in mind, you want to create goals that feel more thriving. Make sure that these goals are specific, realistic, and achievable. And overall, that they align with your personal values. The third thing you want to do to shift to a thriving mode is to do things that make you happy. I was talking to one of my clients yesterday and I asked her, what are some things that you can do that make you happy and that make you feel that sense of inner joy? And she said, going to the park and doing things that make my inner child happy. I absolutely love that answer because it shows that we don't need to do really big things for us to be happy. We don't have to go on a big vacation or buy ourselves an expensive bag to feel happy. We can do more little things to bring happiness in our lives and do more of that throughout our day and throughout our week. That will really bring us in this state of feeling like you're thriving and you will be in a state of joy. So ladies, and this brings me to today's question that I have for you, ladies. What is something inexpensive or even free that you can do that brings you joy? Please share it with me in the comment section below. So what I did just before filming this video, I really felt this urge to eat ice cream, but I didn't have ice cream in the house. So I thought, you know what? I'm going out. There was this place nearby my house and they have delicious ice cream. I'm going to sit there, eat the ice and enjoy the sun. And after that, I'm going to film my video. So that was just what I did. I went out and had this delicious ice cream and it made me feel so happy. The sun was shining, I felt good, I looked good and I was eating this delicious ice cream. So that for me was something small and inexpensive that made me feel so happy. Please share your moment of happiness and joy in the comment section below. I would love to read it. Number four, to go from survival mode to thriving mode is to put yourself first. As women, it's very easy for us to put the people that we love on spot number one and to put ourselves on place number two or even three. However, what we are doing is that we are not being able to give the best version of ourselves to the people that we love because we are pouring all of this time, love and energy to fill up other people's cup first before we fill up our own cup. And the right way to do it is to fill up yourself First, make yourself feel amazing, look amazing, and feel fulfilled. And from that amazing place, you're able to give more of yourself to other people, a more better version of yourself to other people. That is really a win-win situation. You feel amazing and you're thriving, and the people around you are benefiting from that as well. So number four is to put yourself first, even if it's just something small. Start with baby steps. And ladies, now it's time for a quote. The habits you created to survive will no longer serve you when it's time to thrive. Get out of survival mode. New habits, new life. The fifth thing you can do to switch from survival mode to thriving mode is to seek support. Making these changes for yourself can be challenging, especially if you have been in survival mode for such a long time. For that reason, know that you don't have to do it all by yourself. Know that it's okay for you to ask for help if you need it. This can be help from a coach, a therapist, a friend, or your partner. Anybody that you trust and that is able to guide you towards where you want to go. As a life coach, this is exactly what I do. I provide my clients with clarity, guidance, accountability, and encouragement for them to reach their goals, to reach what it is that feels good to them. So if you're looking for a life coach and a life coach that has more of a feminine approach, then I highly recommend that you book a free discovery call with me. The link to book a call is in the description box below. Number six, focus on personal development and keep on learning. Tribal mode means that you become a student of life and you keep on working on the biggest project you will ever work on, and that is you. You seek opportunity to expand your knowledge and your skills, whether through formal education, seminars, workshops, TED Talks, or self-study. 
and focusing on personal development and learning new things about yourself and about the world will help you to shift to this thriving mode. Number seven, take action and embrace change. To thrive, you must take action and you must be willing to step out of your comfort zone. I think by now we all know that the true magic and the true growth happens outside of our comfort zone. And yes, it might feel a little bit uncomfortable at first, but you growing and you thriving is absolutely worth it. So embrace change and open yourself up to all these new opportunities. Ladies, those were some tips that can help you to shift from survival mode to thriving mode. And know that this is a process, especially if you have been in survival mode for a very long time, it will take some time to shift into a more thriving mode. Be kind to yourself and appreciate your process, even if it's really small. Ladies, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you got some valuable information from it. If you want to book a free discovery call with me, the link is in the description box below. Ladies, see you next week, same time, same channel. Bye.